cool. Looks like we're live. <sighs> Hello, people. <laughs> Music's a bit loud today. Cool. How is everybody? I'm, uh, I'm coming towards the end of a long day today. Oh, awful night's sleep last night. Don't have kids, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, I'm psyched for today's stream. We're finally going to get to do some uh, some level building. I'm not going to just have a blank box to walk around in. A couple, a couple of technical problems coming up, but still, I'm quite excited. It's going to be good. Oh. Just going to keep an eye on numbers. Nobody joining in yet, but we'll give people a couple minutes to show up. We had a lot of snow today. We're in the UK and it was like fat snow. Like get lost in snow. My two year old had a really good time. <laughs> Didn't settle though, which is a bit of a shame. Nice when it settles. Might as well get started. Okay, so what are we doing today? Stream number six. Cool. So we were doing some tile mapping stuff last week. Uh, I think I even remember what it was. Um, we had some issues with some glitching on player movement. So we're going to look at that and see if we can fix that. Um, and then today we are going to build our supermarket. Or at least start. Let's see how far we get. We're going to build some shelves, some tills, entrance and exit, that sort of thing. Um, it's going to be big. I don't quite know how big. I've not like drawn this out anywhere. Um, I might just get Krita open to get my basic design. We already started working on this. Um, cool. So this is the idea I had on stream last week. Do I have another file? That's the same one. Ah. Ah. Now let's use the one I did last week. I keep saying last week. It's this week. It's two days ago. <laughs> Need to get used to this. Okay, so basically our idea is we want to have a supermarket. We want to have some sort of layout to it. We want to have a one-way system that people are supposed to be walking around. And then when people deviate from the one-way system, they're going to cause issues. So we need to have shelves, um, a few things blocking the paths. Entrance, exit, tills, the usual thing. Should I say tills? A lot of people call them. Do you call them, call them checkout? Checkout counters? 
I'm going to keep going with tills. Just because I don't know any better. Anyway. So. Let's get started. Where are we at? Cool. Gradient she opened. Man, I am so excited to uh, no longer just have this ugly box for our room. I mean, it's better than the white background we had before that, but I'm looking forward to getting some shape and size in. Now, let me just think about the tile layout. So, I need a tile palette for painting. Let's just get some more space here. Oh, first our glitching problem. Yeah, let's, let's do that first. That's right. Cool. So we've got... Uh, am I playing? Let's go play. Cool. So you can see already there those lines. We don't like those. We want to get rid of them. They don't always show up. There. Just a bit of glitching. So I did some reading up on this, and it's because of Unity's camera rendering. And what I need to do to fix this is I need to add, um, where is it? Not assets, hierarchy, over here. I need to find my camera. And my camera needs to have another component. I need to add a pixel perfect camera because apparently by default, things aren't pixel perfect. Um, a reference resolution, upscale rendering texture, pixel snap, and I think that is literally all we need to do. Yeah, no more glitching. Much better. Now, I need to still do some work on actually picking my resolution, because I think 320 too small. That's what's that doing for us. That's way too big. Um, but yeah, we need to figure out exactly what size we want. What is that doing in edit mode? 4.3. Ah, anyway, I can work with this for now. Might be a bit too zoomed in, but we'll figure out what we want long term. Okay, cool. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make this a lot bigger. So let's get on our tile map. Let's see, can we split this a little bit? That's probably going to be fine. Cool, we need to make this a lot bigger. So I need to work on our base map. Let's hide collisions for now. Cool. And I'm going to do some painting. I want this to be... I mean, just really quite large. We can always shrink it later, but I want to have a good canvas to play with. Let's start with that. Yeah, the thing is, I haven't got a fixed design. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear and figure things out as we go. So let's start. Um, I'm going to have an entrance somewhere to come in. Is that going to be enough space? Let's leave it as that for now. And we want to have 
I'll stick an exit over here for now. Okay. Let's update our collision layer. Our walls. I'm going to start by just deleting a load of stuff. I'm going to be doing this a lot, working on the wrong layer. Okay, so let's hide collisions again. By the way, if anyone's watching, feel free to step up, say hi in the chat. I am happy to talk to people, answer questions, that sort of thing. Don't be shy. So, I'm look at the collision layer and we want to do some erasing. Get rid of all of this. Nice. Let's stick some walls in. Actually, while I'm working on this, I should probably get some reference material up. Um, so the assets that we're using for this. All right, let me just jump in the browser. This is kind of the asset pack that we're using. Um, and we are going to have a look at that. Modern interiors. Cool, so this is the pack. That's the sprite. Uh, probably just need this. Yeah, let's just look at this for now. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of the general reference point we want to be using. So for an entrance, we're doing it on the opposite side, but we want it kind of looking like this. We want to have some tiles and then some scanner things. Need to get the walls right so it looks good. Cool, that's which is working. Um, so I need to find a wall, like a right side wall. Is this what I want? Yeah, that looks good. Make sure I get the bottom tile on there. There we are. Happy with that. Um, let's get some floor tile for the entrance. I'm just gonna have a harsh cut to the left. I'm not gonna do borders. Um, shadows. Let's get some of these in. Ah, I'm doing it again. Doing it again. I need to switch between different layers. So actually, turn off my base. I need to erase these guys. So the importance of having separate layers is some of them the player is going to walk into and not be able to walk past, that's the walls, and some of them are just the colouring on the bottom, that's the base. So base stuff basically means that's where the player can walk on. And so we want to use that one, these guys for some shadows. Make sure we get an edge shadow in there. Okay, and then we need to get some more wall in here. Not like that though, this one. Make sure it's going on collision. And then what goes in here, this one? 
Yeah, that looks alright. Bottom wall. There. That looks alright for now. Let's have a quick test, make sure I'm doing everything right. Oh, something's wrong there. Not colliding on my collision layer. What's happening there then? Collider's turned off. That's obviously it. Better. Run into that wall. Ha. Cool. So I'm coming down. Probably gonna move my player down a bit so I don't have to run. I can leave, walk in, hit the wall. Cool. So that's all working so far. I'm just gonna move. This guy down a bit. So not so far to go every time I'm trying something new. Okay. Okay. And then we want to have some scanners on the edge. So we can do some scanning. Okay, so this is going to be our first decorative tiles, and what I'm going to do now... So I've been thinking about this for a little while, and actually it's going to be quite important that we um, are able to... Um, what am I saying? So for decorative tiles, I think some of the decorative tiles are going to go in the base layer, because they're just decorative, but some of them object-based tiles I think aren't going to need colliders but I don't want to stick them in my collision layer with the walls and things because um, there's a chance at some point when we come back to this and do some um, do some funky magic to make sure that my player can walk behind stuff. If you look at the reference guide um, I quite like that this little character here is stood behind the counter um, that's going to be quite hard to recreate in my game because we have got um, a single flat surface. It's a 2D game. Um, there's no depth to it. And so actually for all of these objects you can either be behind them or in front of them. You can't be both behind and in front of them as a player. Um, the way that traditional games that I think of like Pokemon and things like that work with this around is that actually you have the collision layers on your shelves in such a way that you can't walk behind them. You can only walk a and t uh, um, along the top of them um, and um, that's what I'm going to start off doing but by placing them on a separate layer in between the base and the collision um, we're going to achieve an effect that later on if we come back to it we can change that quite easily and maybe do some scripting magic to make sure that you can actually both go behind and in front of them um, I just want to do that straight away off the bat because I think that's going to be a bit too complicated so I'm going to do a simple solution now and maybe give myself the option to come back later and, and do something a bit more fancy. But um, having said that, first things first, I need to create a new map. I'm going to call this map... Um, I'm going to call it Objects for now, because that's the name I've been using, but it's not a great name, Objects. Anyway. Um, So the first thing we want to do is let's put some scanners in. And I don't actually know why we've got these two sets of scanners. This one seems to have the bars in a slightly different configuration to that one. Is that meant to be one side or the other side? I don't know. I'm just going to use those two. Um, so let's put a bar here and a bar here. That seems a bit too far apart. Um, that seems like there's too much space between these two. But actually, let's build it spaciously. Let's 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 leave lots of space for now in the build. I don't want to have like just these narrow, tiny gaps for the player to walk through. Um, especially with all the colliders, I don't want people getting stuck between things. And when we get to building our shop, our shopper AI with all of our NPCs running around, 
I think it's going to be good to be able to um, have the space to work with. I don't want them getting trapped between different things. Can I even tell the difference between these two? Eh, there's a slight difference in the shading. I think I'm going to leave it though because I honestly don't think there's much point. Um, cool, so there's our first objects. Now we haven't put any collision on here yet. So, first thing we'll notice is. Oh! <laughs> they disappear. Um, that's probably because there's no short sorting layer on this. Let's put them at one. And the player actually, no, I, I'm not, yeah, let's stick the player at two actually. Cool, that's what I want. Now it looks weird because this is what I was talking about with the depth. Me walking in front of this one is fine, but I would be expecting to be watch walk behind this one. Being in front of it makes no sense. So the way I'm going to fix that is, again, by adding um, what do we have? The tile map collider is what I want. Don't know why that wasn't finding it. Um, let's just look at that one for reference. Don't think I have any custom settings on any of these. Nope. Okay, so just the default objects. So, time map collider, component, composite collider, and rigid body 2D. Static and used by composite. Cool. That should be our collider setup. And that should affect everything on this layer. So if you look at this now, I can't walk into this. I can walk in front of it. And I can't walk into this one. This is the thing, I've got to walk over this now. I can't walk behind it. But I think that's going to be our just general approach to the solution for now. We don't have to do anything crazy where we put half of our sprites on one layer in front and half of them on another one in behind. And God, it's just gonna get complicated if we do that. But for now on, let's just carry on as is. And let's do some more art now that we've done the boring technical bit. Let's have a quick look at our designs. So we wanna have some shelving above. Okay. Working on the objects palette. I think this is what we want. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, leave some space. How big are we doing this? Quite big. Now I don't think repeating them like this looks as good. So let's make them a bit bigger. How's that? Is that too long? Mm, I quite like it. Also makes the counting easier. There. 
happy with that. I'm not going to put anything on the shelves yet because I think that'll just take too long to do. But can I stack these? Probably not. Um, does it look like our reference material? Yeah. So once they've got shelves on them, we'll be able to see like things on there. Um, cool. That's looking good. Um, then let's have some sideways shelves. Where are they at? Here. Keep going with the same color. Should I do some pink? No, let's keep the color the same for now. How are these going to work? Um, I have like a bit of an open plan space over here, so I want to have like some space to just have free. Maybe we can put some something. We'll put something here later. I think either some sort of station or some sort of special offers or you know trolley park, something like that. Well, I think people will probably already have their trolleys as they come in. Um, let's put one there. One there. It's leaving three spaces in between. Do I want three spaces in between? Or two spaces in between. Mm, let's do three, because I think people might be coming in both directions here. So one, two, three, and go. Also, that maps nicely with the rest of the tiles. One, two, three. And then leave the top free. Cool. I'm happy with that. Then the other way, going the other way. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to leave a bit of space between the rows here, and I'm going to come back to doing these guys. How big are these going to be? These are going to be massive, aren't they? I think, again, we should take a similar approach with having them slightly separated. So maybe starting in line here. That's more like it. Do I like that kind of two and a half style though? Probably not. Let's make them slightly shorter. Like that length. 
I like that. Yeah, I thought I can make this one slightly bigger. There. Cool. Okay, I think I like that. That's our size. So let's see. Three spaces in between. Yeah, that's three. play with that, see how that feels. So I walk in the supermarket, walk around here. There is really plenty of space here, isn't there? Yep. And then come around here. I think I'm too zoomed in. You can't really plan a path at this level. You need a bit more overview of where you're going. That sort of thing. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the camera. I do think I want at least seven as my size. Really not sure what's going on here.
Okay, I'm gonna have to do some reading on this because I have no idea what's going on. But I like the layout. That's kind of what I was thinking of. There's something funky going on up here. Is that because of the screen resolution? Ah, okay, so it's breaking. Let's just do some tills quickly. So you have enough space at the bottom for walking backwards and forwards. Which way my tills going to face? Up and down. Okay. So that's fourth one. I want to say if you're walking down the corridor, you should be able to go to the till. Like that. Is that going to tile? That's quite narrow, narrow funneling. Yeah, that doesn't work because you can't have two people coming through here once. So, what do you do in this situation? We need more space. Let's just alternate tilts, maybe. So, like that. And like that. that tile I think that works and then we just do that again now that means I'll have to have more No, we need more space. One, two, three, there. No, we, I don't think we can do that. I think we're going to have to just... Um, similar aspect tells. Like that. See, now it's looking like it's too much space. quite decide there. Anyway, it's getting late. I don't want to jinx my luck and have my kid wake up on me. So I might need to make a quick commit there, just so we've got some stuff saved. Quick look at what's going on. Yeah, still needs more work, but I think we're coming closer to a layout. Cool. All right, let's take some changes.
lots and lots of sprites. Stream six. Fixed tile shearing and started shop layout. Great, looking good. So what can we do? We fixed our glitching. We have uh, basic placement of shelves and tills. I'll check that one off. Let's do a layout. Let's check that one off. Um, And here we've got uh, shelves. I'll leave entrance and exit for next week just because I want to get a bit closer to well decorated before I close this off. Cool. Let's have a look at our board. We can move this into in progress. And cool, we're working on stuff. So, making more progress, really enjoying this. Um, I have got a Discord link up. So, um, if you're watching this and you want to get on the chat, maybe not on the live stream chat, but you want to chat on the Discord, you know, don't be a stranger, come join in. I do uh, want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear, do you think it looks rubbish? Do you think it's a good idea? Helps me to know what people think. <laughs> I mean, I probably still do the way I want to do it, but, um, you know, I'm open to ideas. Cool. Anyway, until then, goodbye and stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.